Hi everybody, welcome back to Soma. I feel like the end of the game is close. Um, cause we just gotta find the Ark and Tau, and then we gotta bring it to Phi and launch it, right? Um, this is kind of difficult though, because this station is being stalked by a very annoying monster. And if I recall correctly, I saved in a terrible place. Like he was just walking into the room when I saved. Um, so I think we're about to die. Um, we'll see. Yep, there he is. Alright, let's get this over with. Just do it, just do it. Okay. <clears throat> Here's what I think. Um... Let's hide in the dark. This time, hopefully, he won't catch us. Um, so, when I was editing the last episode, I think I found the way to go. There was a map that we we're looking at of this facility, right? And this whole facility is pretty linear in terms of where to go. He didn't see me, did he? I hear him like running around. I think he might have like, seen me. Um, this whole facility seems pretty linear in terms of where to go. Um, I think there's a door right there that we need to get to. So, hopefully we'll let this monster get out of the way. And once he gets out of the way, We'll try to open that door. The issue is I think he's gonna hear us the minute we open the door, so maybe we open it and run. But that door opens up real slowly. Okay, he's right there. I think he's stuck. Yeah, he's definitely stuck. Look at him, he's just been walking in circles. Okay, let's let him kill us and let's like start over from fresh. From a fresh save, okay? Start over at the checkpoint. Yeah, 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 we get it. We're dead. Um, so here's the trick. I think we gotta open that door. And I think once he hears the door, he's gonna come running for us. And we just need to kind of run around the hallways and then run back through the door. We're gonna try it at, at the very least. All right? It's always worth a shot. So let's go ahead and heal up. Okay. Good, we're healed. And we can go in through these doors. This is how we gave him the slip the first time around. So I think it'll work the second time around too. I'm turning off all the lights so we can hide in the dark more easily. Here's the map. Let's just review where we're going, okay? So here's the door that he's hiding. He's like right, he's right there right now. So we're gonna open this vault. We're gonna let him see us. So he runs into this room. Now, when he sees us, we're going to go ahead and sneak around this way. Thanks for that. We're going to go ahead and sneak around this way, back into the hallway, and sneak out from behind. And then hopefully, that'll get us um, into this section. Now, that room where we just saved last time, or where we started the episode, that's this room. Um, so it's right next to this door right here. And that this is where I think we need to go. It's one of those big like orange vault doors that takes a while to open. Um, so I think we need to open it and then maybe like hide in this room or open it and like skirt around him in a circle or something to go through. Anyways, that's what I'm thinking. That's what we're gonna try. Cause if that doesn't work, I don't know. I don't know what will. <clears throat> it's frustrating. This guy seems to be able to like, he has like night vision. Like even in the dark, he seems to be able to see us. And um, he hears everything. Like you open a door, he's he's coming. He's right there. Okay, so we're opening the door. We're gonna let him see us in here and then we're gonna run. All right, here it goes. Hi, buddy.
Hi, buddy. Oh, he's right there. Wait, guys, I think I messed this up. I think I was supposed to go that way. Oh my gosh, did he not see us? I think we got away with it. We got away with it, guys. Now, is he in the hallway? All right, let's do this. Where is he? I don't see him. I wish it was easier to tell which direction he was coming from. Oh, he's right there. He's doing that thing. He's stuck again. He's walking in circles. Can we distract him by like making a noise somewhere? Like the control room. Uh oh. I hope he heard that. Is he running over that way? Or is he still bugged out? He's still bugged out. Okay, well we, we successfully got him unbugged out, but I think we're dead now. dead now. Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay, we gave him the slip. But I don't know how long there is running away from him. I don't know how we're going to get him away from that door. He's right there. Listen, I just need to get to this orange door. That guy needs to give me a break. He just hears me wherever I go. When I'm over here, he's over that way. When I'm the other place, he follows me over here. Okay. Is the coast clear? The coast is clear. No, the coast is not clear. Oh, guys, I think we're dead. All 
I think we're so dead. Oh, he's right there. Okay, I don't get this. We're just running around in circles. I'd like to not be running around in circles. I want to get to the door. Let me get to the door. Okay, we open the door. Now let's run around this way. Hopefully staying out of his way. Where did he go? Are we safe? Nope. We are definitely not safe. Okay, he's walking off that way. That could be good for us. As long as he stays that way. Alright guys. I don't know where we're going now. Oh boy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Up, 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 up. I saw him, I saw him, I saw him, I saw him. Oh. Is this the right way? Okay. Let me just make sure there's nothing that we missed. I don't think there's anything that we missed. Okay. No, this can't be right. Or maybe this is. Uh-oh. Okay. Is that the last we're gonna see of that monster? Probably not. Watch him be waiting for us in the living quarters. My vision's going fuzzy. Oh, please don't be on the other side of this door. Ah! Safe? <sighs> okay, I think it's safe. But look how many different... What? He's talking to us again. Is that the guy who's talking to us? I think it is. There's nothing here. You telling me there's nothing here makes me think there's something here. Okay, but there's so many different rooms to check. How are we going to check them all? Why is my vision going fuzzy? Mainframe. Okay. Let's check out storage first. Every other storage in this storage room in this game has been a bust. With just nothing at all worth looking at. Yep, okay. We can write that off. We have to leave. Can you leave me alone, dude? He wouldn't even like leave me in peace on the on the deep sea elevator. Stop what? All right, where does this go? Critical system failure. Critical system failure. What? 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 Is he right there? Tell me he's not outside. What is this? What are these things? I don't want to be in this room anymore. Where did the creepy guy go? And what are those things? They're like giant bugs eating people. Oh my gosh. 
okay. We just keep exploring these creepy rooms. You saw him, right? Stop telling me to move on. How does he know my name? Do we dare? Let's touch him. Can See what we can do anything learn. for him? No. We're out of sedatives. If we had a gun, this would be the time to pull it out. Did not expect it to end like this. Should have jumped the climber back to Omicron. Without the Ark? Forget about the Ark. No, you don't get to say that. It's the only thing left of value. You know that. Yeah, yeah. Promise you won't leave it behind. We'll all be dead one day. Then what? Well, better keep it safe until then. Don't want the wild to take it, swallow it whole. Uh, I'm sorry, Catherine. It's okay, Ian. Just let it out. Let it all out. Okay. So here's what I think. I think the WoW somehow wants to get its hands on the Ark because the WoW seems to be into taking people's minds and putting them into robots. It also seems to be into putting structure gel onto dead things and reanimating them. But the Ark is a treasure trove of like uploaded consciousnesses for it to get its hands on. So the WoW must really want to get its hands on the Ark. That guy who's talking to us, I bet you he's the WoW. Or like some manifestation of the WoW. And he's tricking us to get the Ark for him. This Ross guy. He wants us to get the Ark for him. Um, for the WoW. That's my prediction. And maybe Catherine is, is the WoW trying to deceive us as well. I don't know. What the fuck did we do? Hey, try not to think about it. My whole life. I've been a good man. We messed up, Sarah. There, there. We should have launched. Taken the chance. There's time. If Ashkin says we could try again, when things calm down. You gotta do it, you know. You got to. <laughs> so, everyone here is just dying. They went to go retrieve the Ark and they failed. What is that thing? It's making me so uncomfortable every time I look over it. Um, Anyways, I used to think Catherine was evil, and I still think there's a good chance that she is, like, working for the WoW. But I also think that there's a reason why she could be a normal robot, unlike all the other robots that are, like, insane. Um, and the reason is, she was made by Catherine, not by the WoW. The WoW makes the crazy robots, and, um, Catherine's robot was actually made by a human. For the express purpose of just helping out I guess I don't know but that still begs the question um do we want to go into the dive room the dispatch or the infirmary the infirmary is going to be scary I can tell um that begs the question though why did the wild make us and why are we normal and not crazy all right let's go into the infirmary this doesn't look like an infirmary it up. Alright, what's up here? Nothing. Remotely locked. Okay. <gasps> Someone is alive in there. Lindwell. <gasps> oh my gosh. We might see another living being there. Actually, not another. We're, we're technically not a living being. We might see the last human. Okay, why do I feel like it's either... something bad. Alright, let's go into dispatch first. I feel like I'm getting sinister vibes from the dive room. I don't know. 
It seems like the natural place to go. What? The monster. Why can he teleport? Give me a logical explanation for that, please. Phi Tau transport line. What are they transporting? Man, that map doesn't make sense to me. Alright, let's see what these notes are. Report from 3AF. January 12th. Minor structural damage radio knocked out. January 17th. Communications recovered. Omicron and the rest of Pathos 2 are alright. April 3rd. Cross-site radio failing. Lumar probes keep losing the link. Urgent fix needed. Tau can't retrieve the climber until the link is working. Okay, so they got stuck down here. April 11th. Visited by SSE Wolchek, Dahl, and Holland. System of bi-weekly visits established until communications is back 100%. Okay, so they lost communications, and so they decided they were just going to make a point of visiting every bi-weekly, every two weeks. Um, evacuation of Tau ordered. We're all leaving for Omicron. 15th. Swarmed by monsters and no radio. We're effed. Huh. Wonder what happened. Sorry. What did I click on? Transmission, comm logs, door locks, phi st status. I hear things behind me. I don't want to look though. Transmission. Upsilon. Call. It's offline. Okay, I'm guessing Theta's offline too. No, we just came from Theta. Lambda's offline, Delta's offline, Omicron, Phi, Omega. Lisbon. Cadiz. Those are new stations we haven't heard referenced. I don't see Alpha on this list. Someone was talking about Alpha. Okay, nothing we can do there. Communication logs. The last one was April 2nd from Omicron. Okay. Phi status. Access tunnels. Phi tower. Unstable. No feedback. Tower quarters access. Phi proper. Phi. Launch site okay. Mission control okay. Assembler okay. Site fully operational. Omega SG. Omega space gun. Flexible barrel, 7,290 meters. Okay. So is the Ark not in Tau? Is the Ark in Phi and the Space Gun is at Omega? I thought the Ark was at Tau and the Space Gun was at Phi, but the Space Gun's at Omega and I definitely remember Phi being on the list. So maybe we need to go to Phi. Door locks. All right, do we dare unlock this or do we want to unlock the infirmary? Okay, against my better judgment, I'm gonna unlock Johan Ross. And it's against my better judgment because I have subtitles turned on. Oh, never mind. Because I have subtitles turned on, and um, I know all of those. That guy who's been bothering us and talking to us? It's Johan Ross. That's who the subtitles say it is. That monster out there who was stalking us? That's Johan Ross. Um, so I need a password. There wasn't any hints on here, was there? No. Do I need a password for the infirmary too? No. I guess we can go into the infirmary, but we can't go in there. Okay. All right, let's do this, guys. We heard somebody on the other side of the door who didn't want to let WoW get in, so she might be a good guy. You. Lindwall. You're different. That's a real person. Are you human? Sarah Lindwall, payload technician at your service. A rare sight, am I right? A real so. living person. You're the first normal living human I've seen. There's not many left down here. 
Most of them are up on the plateau. You mean at Omicron? No, they're yeah. not. They're all dead. There's no one alive at Omicron. You've been there? I've been all over. The power plant at Upsilon. The ruins of Lambda. The abandoned Delta, Theta. You've been to Theta? There's not a lot left of Pathos too. And, uh, I'm the only living person you've met? <coughs> you mean I'm the last living human on the planet? Uh, I think so. I'm sorry. Who are you again? Simon Jarrett. Station down? Nowhere. I, I used to work in a bookshop in Toronto. Long story. Then what the hell are you doing here? I'm trying to find the Ark. Why would you? How do you know about that? I've heard it's the last hope for mankind. Damn right it is. Now what do you want with it? Take it to the gun at Phi. Launch it into space. That was the plan, all right. I've been guarding it ever since we brought it back to <gasps> town. Is that the Ark right there? Yes. That I is. bring myself to let go. To tell you the truth, I don't have the strength to argue. And I certainly don't have the time to wait for the next sentient thing shuffling through here. Go ahead. Take it. Thank you. Can I get you anything? Do anything for you? You could kill me. Good one. Good one. I still can't believe I'm the last Does she one. really want us to kill her? It's crazy. You serious about me killing you? No, I'd love to hang around here until I dry up to the size of a razor. I can disable her life Simon, support. This fucking sucks. <coughs> I don't want to live like this. I mean, why do we have to do it? Can't you press it yourself? Shouldn't we be doing something to keep you alive? Why? You're the last human. I, I just find it disrespectful to our entire history not to fight this. Sure, we have the Ark, but you're the real deal. Thanks. That's probably the best compliment I've ever got. But the truth is that the Ark is all we have. We'll have to accept Second best, you know. None of this feels right. Simon, I want to die. Sarah. Just think about it. Okay. I want to make sure we get all the dialogue, but I don't want to like feel like I'm annoying her, so forgive if me. If I knew you'd come, I would have cleaned this place up a little bit. Okay, don't we don't need down. the humor. All right. I don't know why you couldn't just click it yourself. Would you stay with me, please? It won't be long now. Just... Please, just stay. Sure. We'll stay. What a crazy thing this was. Life. Look at this postcard. At least I won't have to turn 30. Hooray! She wasn't even 30. Jesus. I wish I could have died at home with my friends. You ever been to Greenland? It's Greenland. very beautiful. Not much of a tourist destination. Well, at least when you get out of the city. Nanok is busy, and yes, there's like 12 million people trying to get around, but it's a great place. Busy? Greenland? Or rather, it was a great place before the comet ended it all. Interesting. You know what? I prefer it this way. I liked Pathos. Liked my colleagues. Ian, Nick, Jasper, even Catherine. People thought she was weird because she was quiet, but she was cool. <gasps> They're talking about Kath. Simon, you still there? Yep. I'm here, Sarah. Don't let him die, okay? Send them out there. To the stars. Oh, 
Oh, the beeps are getting more infrequent. Okay, we just watched her die. Can I like wash my hands? I need to wash my hands. I feel unclean. I also feel unsafe. That's better. Um, okay, let's see what memories. This is inactive. Probably found a way to switch it off. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. She has a lot of pretty postcards. These must all be from Greenland. That's that's not Greenland. Greenland is all icy, right? Does it get green in the summer? I don't actually know. A lot of random random junk here. Okay, so let's see. Here's the Ark. Intercom. Dispatch. Offline. Okay, is this going to be the same deal where everything is offline and we're in the infirmary? Okay, we don't need the intercom. Door locks. Can we unlock this? Stop it. It wants us to get in. 2768. Okay, I'm writing that down, but I'm not unlocking it right now. I, I don't feel safe. We're going to unlock it when we're ready to go. Two seven six eight. Okay. Photos. Look at all these people. Who's that? Recent documents. Let's let's restore some recent documents. A lot of reading here. I'm glad I didn't unleash whatever was in that sealed room. Emergency food by Nad Nadine Masters. A thorough look at what common chemicals and compounds found at Pathos 2 could keep you alive in emergency situations. Last accessed by Sarah Linwell. Nutrition Through the Veins by Richard Holland. A manual on how to keep conscious or comatose colleagues fed through intravenous drip. Last accessed by Sarah Linwell. Doing some light reading, Sarah. Post-constructional alterations by Astrid Cryer. Methods on how to make room for additional payload after the casing has been constructed and left delta. I don't know what that means. Make room for additional payload after the casing has been constructed? What casing? Access by Catherine. Alright. Let's do it. It really wants us to go in there. And I don't want to go back and find that other creepy monster. Guys, we've got the Ark. There's no way I can climb a ladder while carrying the Ark like this. What am I supposed to do? Do I put the Ark back? I don't get it. Was I supposed to do that? Can't climb with the Ark. I hope I didn't break the game. Maybe the Ark was supposed to stay upstairs. Okay, guys. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Meeting Johan Ross. Can I heal first? Was there healing somewhere in this room? No, I can't heal. That fall kind of hurt. That's why I ask. Okay. We're in Johan Ross's room. I don't... Maybe... I wish there was an option to set down the Ark. That didn't really seem to be an option. Journal recordings. Journal. Alright, September 13th. I was hoping to see Omicron today. The evacuation ordered by the people at Theta was a gift, an excuse to leave Alpha and abandon the WoW. 
As the storm cleared, we were swarmed by monsters that the WoW had facilitated. We were ambushed and forced back towards Tau. Okay. Glasser, Kovsky, Kotzi, and I survived. Eclair is in the infirmary, but doesn't look good. Okay. Kotzi made a run for it to go check the observation for anything resembling food. Going outside is beyond dangerous. It is going to... It's like going to buy cigarettes in a hurricane. She came back and she had crumbs with her. We all knew it was empty. I think she just wanted a chance to die without carrying the responsibility of taking it herself. People from the plateau showed up. It was a group of engineers from Theta telling us that they wanted to use the Omega space gun to launch something called the Ark. It's an artificial world that carries brain scans made from people working at Pathos 2. The idea is silly but endearing. We all agreed to do a scan so we could take part in this afterlife. Some of the engineers returned from Phi. Apparently, they postponed the arc launch. They were all in a very foul mood and difficult to get any straight answers from, except one very important thing. They all wished to remain at Tau to figure out this arc business, but they had scheduled for the climber to pick them up tomorrow. Someone would need to catch that climber to alert Omicron what was happening. Luckily, Glasser and I were able to take on this mission. I will finally get to warn Dahl and Sarang about the critical situation at Site Alpha. Oh. And the guy turned up dead when they brought him back up, right? Recordings. Equilibrium. The pattern has stopped evolving. The WoW has managed to find balance. I convinced SSE Volchek to turn off all external control systems, making the WoW our de facto caretaker. So far, it's exceeding expectations. Is this the creator of WoW? And they really just let it take care of everything. Since the comet crashed a few days ago, January 12th, the WoW has dropped to a low energy state. It hasn't abandoned its duties. It's keeping climate and life support going, but it's been simplifying the pattern, redefining its protocol. Uh-oh. It looks like it's starting to get a mind of its own. The WoW has started to grow physically. It's not just the core chamber. All around Pathos 2, structure gel is bursting through the pipes and bleeding through walls. I don't know what WoW could possibly stand to gain from this, but I assume it is intentional. That's all that gross tentacly stuff that we're seeing. It's all just structure gel from WoW. The heart of WoW has claimed such a large part of the core chamber that there can no longer be any question to its heightened awareness. Not only does its expansion suggest an unexpected understanding of space, but also its own physical manifestation within the world. Creepy. The WoW is becoming self-conscious. The WoW is reaching out to every machine, every life form, to manipulate, to control. It's trying to help save its creators from all this, just like the protocol demands. But really, what is good enough? Where is the line to... Oh. Sorry, the wow I didn't get the is last of it. Out to every machine, every life form, to manipulate, to control. That seems about right. Manipulation it's and control. To help save its creators from all this, just like the protocol demands. But really, what is good enough? Where is the line drawn for what is human and what is not? Would walking corpses do? To the Would wow, yes. Machines thinking they're human be acceptable? Yes, the wow thinks we that's okay. We can't trust a machine to know. To understand what it means to be, we have to terminate the WoW project. It can be done. I just need to get some help from Omicron. Okay. So this guy was trying to stop WoW. He's going to be right there behind us, isn't he? This guy was trying to stop WoW because WoW is trying to preserve humanity. So WoW is like the AI that they put in charge of keeping everyone alive and healthy at Pathos 2. And it took its mission very seriously, and when the end of the world came, it decided the best hope for humanity was to make everyone into zombie machines, because at least that way, humans would still be quote-unquote alive. Okay, I think this is starting to make sense. Now what? Where to?
dive room? Is that where we came from? Can't climb and carry the ark. So I have to jump. What was that? What was that? Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, so it's gonna pressurize, I think. We're going to fight. Looks like it didn't work. Error. Swipe Omni Tool. Waiting for cargo. Attach. Oh, okay, we can put the cargo down. What is this doing, though? Waiting for cargo. Attach. Okay, config. Configuration failure. Swipe. Filling airlock. Pressure difference. In, out. Okay, the flooding is really broken here. Sequence halted, unable to equalize pressure. This is anticlimactic. I thought we were gonna get out with the Ark and save the day. Is the water rising at all, or do we need to do something? I don't think the water is rising. I think we need to do something. Pressure difference. In, out. Alright, it's official. I'm confused. I don't know what we're supposed to be doing here. There's nothing to click. I already swiped my tool. I can't get back out. Is the game completely bugged? I don't know. Oh, what's this? Oh. Okay. Okay. Back underwater. And got the Ark. I think we're gonna go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I think next time it's a way rather got one or two more episodes so maybe next time we'll be finishing this. Um, if it runs a little long I think I'm just gonna record from here to the end of the game in one long recording and I might break it up into two if it requires but we might just have one long episode next time. We'll see. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.